Hey guys, this is Pam, or Lady Digger in PA. Um, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning, the 25th of February. I'm, uh, I'm up late. I've been having trouble with my back. And I had a meltdown tonight, too. I can't sleep. I, I'm just really disgusted. I'll tell you why. I uh, received a letter on Friday telling me that I'm denied for um, medical assistance. Well, I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, maybe there's other ways I can, you know, work to do this and that, and everybody gives their two cents, but right now uh, I don't have the energy or heart to, to do it. I guess I'll never have a, I'll never have a pros, prosthetic leg. That's how I feel right now. I'll be sitting in this stupid wheelchair forever. That's how I'm feeling. And it's grieving me. I feel like everything that I really enjoyed has been taken away from me. And I had a meltdown with God even. And I told him, I said, you didn't have to allow this to happen to me. Yeah, there's worse things to people. I know that. But this didn't have to be. <sighs> Bad things happen to good people. I remember seeing a book about that entitled that. Who cares? That's how I feel tonight. Who cares? Um... Yesterday, Saturday, uh, my daughter and her husband and the kids came up and uh, my granddaughter Lauren was over and we um, actually went out. I went out in my daughter's car. I didn't have any trouble getting in and out except coming out of the restaurant, getting in. It was pouring rain and everything was wet and I couldn't see. I couldn't had a little hard time getting in and we were, my daughter and I got soaked. Tell you the truth, I felt um, like I was imposing on everybody. I'm used to doing for myself, and I don't like it this way. We went to Walmart, and my grandson pushed me around, and my um, granddaughter went with her mom in a cart, you know, and did their shopping. And my granddaughter, Lauren, pushed the, uh, a cart for us. It was nice to get out and be able to buy some things. I haven't been out for a long time. What, since the first week of December, actually. Other than to be transported twice um, in a wheelchair to two different places, two different facilities. Oh, and then on a uh, stretcher the first time from uh, the hospital in town to the other one. Well, right now I'm just not doing very well. I don't have any friends around here or anything. I have my Facebook people, stuff like that, but nobody comes to visit. Anyway, um, I told my husband, I said, I'm giving up. I, I just can't do this anymore. My heart's not in it. I hate to be a quitter, but I'm not going to be metal detecting aside from in a wheelchair. I'm not going to be bottled digging. I'm not going to be doing anything. I'm not even going to get a prosthetic leg, ever, because I don't have that kind of money. And I don't qualify for welfare. We're $200 over the limit. And that's bullshit. Excuse me. That's bullshit. And as I said, I don't know where to turn now. And I don't know all the loops and, you know, things to get in to this or to get that. And I'm not writing the congressman. I remember my husband did that. Uh, didn't write, but he actually called about a car situation. I don't remember what it was now. And uh, the reply was, oh, we don't deal with that. Pfft. Okay. I don't want to hear that. And that's what I'll hear. So, I guess I'll be back again sometime here. Just wanted to fill you guys in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And, uh,
Take care now. Bye now.